So you've probably been wondering, where have you guys been? We have not posted a video in a while. Um, and obviously you might be able to tell over my shoulder, we're not in Arizona, <laughs> we're at the ocean. Um, and we'll tell you where we are in just a little bit, but we're gonna just kind of share why we have been a little MIA on here, because life just got crazy not long after we posted our last video. We, um, we knew we were getting really close to finishing the bus. I mean, you guys know our videos are always a couple of months behind. And so we left you, we were kind of in the middle of uh, tiling our shower. And in real life, um, at the point that video came out, showers done, I think our floors were probably done. Um, we were just kind of wrapping up a handful of some projects and realized we needed to now kind of turn our focus to our house and cleaning out our house and getting it ready to sell and that's when things kind of went bonkers and so we spent um you know Juan's still working lots of hours at this point like we're still finishing up school with the kids and so in between all those things we're just kind of cleaning out the house and with the housing market so crazy, we've actually had a few neighbors or friends or family of neighbors approach us knowing we were gonna be selling our house. And we, um, we kind of talked through some different people with that and none of those deals kind of worked out. And we decided last minute to just say, well, before we kind of really put it on the market with a realtor, let's just see what happens if we go through an iBuyer like OfferPad or Open Door, and let's just see what they say in terms of, um, you know, what they would offer us. Cause that would just be super easy. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with those kind of home selling situations, they just kind of buy your house sort of as is you can um you don't really have to like fix it up for showing it you don't have to do any showings you don't have to um I, like you just don't have to go through the whole rigmarole and then you can kind of set your own closing date you can if if that doesn't work and you want to extend it or you want to bump it up and make it sooner they're super flexible and so that's what we did and we approached um, both Open Door and OfferUp just to get, they kind of give you preliminary offers. And then, yeah. <laughs> you wanna tell them? Well, then things just went crazy. The offer was actually very good. So we were surprised that they gave such a strong offer. So we said, okay. And we actually weren't really ready to <laughs> sell the house, really. We weren't ready to quite move out, but we got ready. And from the time that we got that initial offer to the time when we actually locked the doors and put the key in the in the little safe thing, I think it was three weeks. It was three weeks. So, and that was we kept bumping the date back, like as things would go, if things went well, because um, they do a thing where they come in and they do a home inspection and they make sure everything's okay, and then they say, "All right, so here's our offer." Here's sort of, they, then they take a kind of a commission, sort of like a realtor does. So ours was 5%. Um, and then, which was cheaper than, than realtors are usually 6%. So we said, wow, that's great. Because when we read online, the, the actual service fee was typically um, between 7 and, was it 12? Like 7 and 10 or 12. So it was somewhere around there. They and we got five, 5. And so mm -hmm. we thought that was great. Um, and then, but then we were like, well, there's this big question mark of a, what sort of things are we going to have to repair? We already knew the air conditioners are 16 years old. We'd probably have to address that. There was cracked tiles, um, things like that. Um, but they came back and said, you know what, we'll take it as is. Um, if you don't know, the real estate market in Arizona, specifically where we live, is extremely hot. And so we were able to sell our house very quickly. We were able to set our close date. And they were also very flexible. They said, look, if you need to stay longer, if you need more time, please let us know. And we could extend that stay, was it three, up like to three, three months? Three months. And they do, so, so we went through um, OfferPad 
and they'll even do like a, a local move for you. Obviously, right. we didn't need that. And but in, storage. Yeah, they'll and like they'll storage. pay for storage. So. Anyway, so all of that to say, we were just kind of going in to look for like, hey, let's see what it would be. And then it turned into their offer was so good that knowing what the other comps in our neighborhood were, it like blew those out of the water. Yeah. It we was... have no idea why, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. I told her when the, when the offer first came in, I said, I it this was broken. is broken. Like this, there's no way this is the offer. So anyway, we, <clears throat> long story short, we, we sold the in. house. Yeah. We just sold the house and we moved into the bus even before we were out of the house. Yeah. And I remember telling Michelle, um, because I would go back to the house to go to work <clears throat> and I told Michelle, man when i put the key in the door this morning it didn't feel like our house it didn't feel like home yeah it was it was really crazy like it just all happened so fast because we're also not just moving but we're literally like downsizing clearing out 95 percent of our stuff we're selling everything off under the sun through like yeah. facebook marketplace <laughs> i mean i had people like coming over every day buying our stuff off facebook marketplace and um, we're just storing a little bit of our sentimental stuff at my parents' house and then just donations and donations and donations and donations. Like, Probably thank goodness we away. have our oldest is 16 and can drive now because he, he became my uh, drive to the donation center man. And he that's what he did like almost every day for two weeks. Yep. And um, anyway, so it was really crazy. We moved into the bus. We're trying to learn how to live in the bus while also still cleaning out the house and going through that process. And we're the bus isn't like totally done. It's done enough to live in, right. but we still have a handful of projects, but we're living in it, boondocking in it out at our workshop. Meanwhile, <laughs> you guys know what Arizona summers are like, right? Like Phoenix summers. It was literally, I think 180 eight when we first moved in and by the following week it was 117 so we are and this is when we're moving in yeah we're moving in adapt. it's <laughs> it is i mean you know as well as we insulated and our air conditioners work great but with with windows i mean and it's a metal tube i mean 117 <laughs> is just not comfortable we can right. keep it at about 80 in the bus which is great. Actually, the kids' room it gets cold. with that little window air conditioner in the back, it gets cold. Even when it's 117 out, it's like yeah. cold in their room. Mm -hmm. But up front, it's just warm. I mean, it's just warm and we can't like open the windows to get a cross breeze because we'll just be infiltrated with dust. It was not comfortable. And so we were doing that for like literally. So then we closed on the house. We're still living out there because now we have to clean out the shop we have to do some mechanical on the bus we had to like change the oil and um on our tow car we have to the get the tow bar set up and change the brakes and um yeah. we had a bunch of projects that we still had to do so we actually were living in the bus for about six weeks and we basically were at that point we cleaned out the hangar cleaned you know, got rid of all our tools. That's the other thing is we were like selling off a whole bunch tools. of our tools and downsizing our tools, which was a, a little whole project. That by was itself. like a whole thing that was almost worse than cleaning out the house. Um, yeah. And then, so we've been living in it like six weeks. We finally were about ready to go. And our first stop is our friends in Southern Arizona that we're helping do like Juan's been helping them kind of plan out their off-grid setup. They're building a homestead and a whole off-grid solar, huge solar battery setup that like puts our bus solar setup to shame. But they're kind of taking our idea and expanding on it. And he's been helping them with all that. So we're heading down there. They weren't quite ready for us to come down because they're finishing up some other projects that they're doing. So we had about a week and we're sitting out there. It's a Okay, the, the weather's cooled off to about 109 again. <laughs> but we're just like, okay, we're ready to go, but they're not ready to go. Right. So we don't want to go any, you know, we got to figure out what can we do for like a week. So that's why we're here. <laughs> right. So we said the kids have also been just, can we go to the beach? Can we go to the beach? Can we go to the beach? Like literally every time like, hey, we say like we're getting ready to travel. They're like, well, can we hit a beach on the way? And... 
we want to travel north and east and there's really no beaches north and route. east on our route right. so we were like oh man and so we thought what a perfect opportunity this is the place where sort of this whole dream of traveling started um, when Michelle was pregnant with our last child with Emmett um, she said you know what I can't I can't be in the heat I, it's it's too much let's just go somewhere I was so. he's born in August and so I was hugely pregnant in the middle of a Phoenix summer and we just needed to get out of here right so we came here for about about six weeks and we loved it and so we didn't miss any of our stuff and we didn't really miss any of our things and so we said I wonder if we could figure out a way to do this kind of full time and Michelle had then ran into a family or came across a family on I think it was Instagram or it might have been on a blog mm -hmm. she was reading a lot of blogs then um, where they were traveling full time in this giant toy hauler RV and so she started thinking about that and kind of approached me and said, what do you think? And I said, I think that's awesome. So, so that's where the whole thing was born. And that, you know, Emmett is now almost eight, almost eight. He's seven, almost eight. So that was eight years ago. And as you know, we've been building the bus for four years. So, um, so we're in central California, right on the coast. And we are, this is kind of our home away from home. We, after that first summer here, we came here every summer for about a month, for four years, and just really got to love this area on the central California coast. And we're at the home, of the, this was my grandparents' home. They retired here and they've passed away, but my family, my extended family has kept this as um, kind of a vacation home that we all take turns using at different times of the year. And we just love it here. And so we didn't bring the bus, we just, left the bus ready to go waiting for us at home and we just packed up the car it's about a 10 to 11 hour drive and we knew we only had a week and to do that in a bus we're not going to do that in one day that would be like two, two to three days. days worth of driving right. but in the car we can just do that all in one day so we just hightailed it out of there just like see a heat <laughs> and just drove here got to the beach pulled on our sweatshirts because like the high is like 66 it's the best in the world um <laughs> pulled on our sweatshirts and have spent the last week just hanging out at the beach we went whale watching we've been go there's beautiful trails through the woods around here it's off this area is cool because it's like beach next to the woods next right. to the mountains so you kind of get a little bit of everything and we've just been um hanging out with sea otters and sea lions. harbor seals and California sea lions and humpback whales and playing in the tide pools and hiking on trails and um, just kind of having one last breather before we head back home, grab the bus and head out of town. So that's kind of what's next. Yeah, so we are traveling home actually tomorrow and the plan is we have a few things left to do there's a few minor projects just like always there's even going to be projects when we're traveling we've got things that we need to do and need to finish up but we're done enough that we said you know what that we're going to call this done this is done enough done enough we're going to travel in it and um so we're leaving we hope this saturday so um that will come as a surprise to even some of our close friends because we haven't really <laughs> made an official announcement. Michelle's mom was adamant about, please give us at least 24 <laughs> hours notice. And we keep joking with Michelle's sister that, you know, every time we see her, we'll say, well, if this is the last time, we'll, we'll see you when we see you. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but we will call them and give a proper goodbye <laughs> and all that stuff. But we wanted to let everyone know that we're okay. Um, things are great. Uh, We've sold the house, we've moved in, we're ready to travel, and so we've, it's just been as hectic as you could believe. And mm -hmm. um, I've been trying to work through the whole thing. Yeah. That even hasn't been going that great just because 
my focus is just so split right now so i'm i'm having to apologize at work and so it's it's been really crazy so we haven't had a chance to to do much other than just try to survive right at this point so, so we had to put making videos and editing videos and all of that on the back burner but once we hopefully get traveling and kind of get settled in, in a routine. and get into a routine and everything we we will we will finish up all of our bus build videos and figure out what traveling videos might look like from here on out um, we definitely want to keep it casual and um you know want to make memories capture the memories that we're making with our kids and um all of that but you know we want to keep it simple um so we got to figure all of that out so bear with us we after we post this video we have to get on the road and then so it may still be another couple of weeks before we get a bus build video back out but then we will catch up um but we just want to thank you guys for your messages we've had a lot of messages like where are you guys are you okay what is going on like we hope everything's all right we're great we're tired <laughs> we have been so busy and we're just thankful for your support and everything this has been such a long journey you guys know and it's finally here it's like here. it's finally almost time so <laughs> fingers crossed and all your prayers that everything will go well as we set out on the road and we're just we're so excited we can't wait we just wanted to give you guys an update let you know we're okay let you know we're alive and well and um give you guys a glimpse of the beauty of central california it's beautiful we just love it if any of you guys are from around here or maybe are going to visit here let us know we just you know we'll love yeah, to tell you all, all our, our cool little secret favorite places around here um, basically anywhere from like moro like san luis obispo and then moro bay it's up to like Castle. san simeon area yeah. that whole area cayucas and cambria and um this is just kind of feels like our home away from home that we love so thanks you guys yeah. and We'll hopefully talk to you guys again soon. We'll have some videos coming out again soon. But next time, uh, next time we make a, a video, we'll be in the Traveling. bus on the road. So talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.